What's up guys, I'm Sanjay C for ADSR, here to talk about Sample Manager and the latest features in version 1.2. Sample Manager is not your average plugin. Sure, it'll let you play your samples, but it really excels at organizing your sample library, making things searchable, and speeding up your workflow. ADSR Sample Manager is free. I'll include a download link in the description of this video. First, let's take a look at how Sample Manager organizes your sample library and some key new organization features. Then we'll look at some ways it can help your creative workflow. You can now run Sample Manager as a VST or audio unit plugin in your DAW, and you can also run it standalone. When you first use it, set the location of your sample libraries, and then Sample Manager does the rest. Organizing your collection by tags, no matter where you got them from, splice.com, loopmaster, sounds.com, your samples are tagged by type of sound, BPM if it's a loop, and key if that's available. If you're looking for a hi-hat for a drum kit, now it's really easy. Here's all the hi-hat closed and open. If you want, you can also use the search bar at the top. You might want to use Sample Manager standalone if you're organizing or tagging some of your samples. For example, I found this one here that I like. And I'm gonna add a tag to it. I'm gonna call it Acoustic Trap. I'm inventing a new genre. Any changes you make in the standalone version will reflect in the plugin version. Here's the one I just tagged. Now, if you've got tons of samples in your sample library, it isn't always easy to find what you're looking for. You can now save your searches in Sample Manager to recall your previous searches easily. Just click the Save Search button right here and save it. You can even browse the history of your searches with this button right here so you can see sounds that you've been trying out recently. Now, if you're looking for some fresh inspiration, try rolling the dice with the randomize feature and you might find something you never knew you had. Whoa, that was weird. Let's take a look at how I use Sample Manager for this beat. I've actually used it on all of the tracks, loading it as a plugin. Once you find a sample that you like, you just select it and you can immediately start playing it like any MIDI instrument. Now, of course, if you want, you can also just drag a sample that you found onto another track. And of course, you can sync the samples to your DAW tempo. You can see with the guitar loop that I just played, everything stays in sync. Now for this track, you'll see that I've already played the MIDI notes. And if I decide I want to change the sample that I used, I can just go into Sample Manager and uh, switch it up and it'll play the same MIDI. Easy. You can see the key of a sample you're playing and you can now adjust the key of the samples that have this key tag. But of course, that doesn't stop you from tweaking a sample by semitones as well. I use this semitone shift all the time when I'm adjusting my drum sounds. You'll see that I've done it with the hi-hats for this drum kit. Now, of course, if you're searching for samples, you can always filter by key if you're looking for something in a specific key. Adding new sounds to your Sample Manager library is really seamless. Let's download a new sample from splice.com. Here's my app that I use to download splice.com samples. Let's find a hi-hat for this song. Let's look for something I don't own. All right, that one's kind of interesting. Let's buy that and let's go back to our project. Let's see, what was it called? I think it was called Tape Cut or something. Oh, there it is, already there. Now we've actually changed the hi-hat in this drum beat. Let's play it. You can also adjust the start point. Sample Manager really helps speed up my creative workflow. I find myself searching for drum one shots all the time to create the right drum kit for a song. And like most DAWs, Ableton Live doesn't tag my library to help that process. So I created a drum kit where every sound, every pad is an instance of ADSR Sample Manager. This makes finding, switching out, and tweaking my drums super fast. Let's try this with the snare. Here's the snare I've already chosen. 
and now I can switch the snare right away. This is a game changer for me. I'm sure you'll find cool ways to use Sample Manager in your music projects. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you have questions or a tip to share, leave them in the comments below. And now that you've unlocked the potential of your sample library, go make the music you love. I'm Sanjay C for ADSR. <laughs>